Chapter 3 Plant Kingdom In the previous chapter, we looked at the broad classification of living organisms under the system proposed by Whittaker in 1969, wherein he suggested the five kingdom classification, namely Monera, Protesta, Fungi, Animalia, and Plantae. In this chapter, we will deal in detail with the further classification within kingdom plantae, popularly known as the plant kingdom. We must stress here that our understanding of the plant kingdom has changed over time. Fungi and members of the Monera and Protesta having cell walls have now been excluded from the plantae, though earlier classifications place them in the same kingdom. So, the cyanobacteria that are also referred to as blue-green algae are not algae anymore. In this chapter, we will describe algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms under the kingdom plantae. Let us look at the classification within angiosperms to understand some of the concerns that influence the classification systems. The earliest system of classification used only cross superficial morphological characters such as habit, color, number and shape of leaves etc. They were based mainly on the vegetative characters or on the androsium structure system given by Linnaeus. Such systems were artificial. They separated the closely related species since they were based on very few characteristics. Also, the artificial systems gave equal weightage to vegetative and sexual characteristics. This is not acceptable since we know that often the vegetative characters are more easily affected by environment. As against this, natural system of classification developed which were based on natural affinities among the organisms and consider not only the external features but also the internal features like ultrastructure, anatomy, embryology and phytochemistry. Such a classification for flowering plants was given by George Bentham and Joseph Dalton Hooker. At present, phylogenetic classification systems based on evolutionary relationships between the various organisms are acceptable. This assumes that organisms belonging to the same taxa have a common ancestor. We now use information from many other sources to help resolve difficulties in classification. These become more important when there is no supporting fossil evidence. Numerical taxonomy which is now easily carried out using computers, is based on all observable characteristics. Number and codes are assigned to all the characters and the data are then processed. In this way, each character is given equal importance and at the same time, hundreds of characters can be considered. Cytotaxonomy, that is based on cytological information like chromosome number, structure, behavior, and chemotaxonomy that uses the chemical constituents of the plant to resolve the confusions are also used by taxonomists these days. 3.1 Algae Algae are chlorophyll-bearing, simple, thalloid, autotropic, and largely aquatic both freshwater and marine organisms. They occur in a variety of other habitats, moist stones, soils, and wood. Some of them also occur in association with fungi, lichen, and animals, example on sloth beer. The form and size of algae is highly variable, ranging from colonial forms like volvox and the filamentous forms like Allothrix and Spirogyra. A few of the marine forms such as kelps form the massive plant bodies. The algae reproduce by vegetative, asexual and sexual methods. Vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation. Each fragment 
develops into a thallus. Asexual reproduction is by production of different types of spores, the most common being the zoospores. They are flagellated, that is motile, and on germination gives rise to new plants. Sexual reproduction takes place through fusion of two gametes. These gametes can be flagellated and similar in size as in allothrix or non-flagellated, non-motile, but similar in size as in spirogyra. Such reproduction is called as isogamous. Fusion of two gametes dissimilar in size as in species of Eoderina is termed as an isogamous. Fusion between one large non-motile static female gamete and a smaller motile male gamete is termed as oogamous, example volvox and fucus. Algae are useful to man in variety of ways. At least a half of the total carbon dioxide fixation on earth is carried out by algae through photosynthesis. Being photosynthetic, they increase the level of dissolved oxygen in their immediate environment. They are of paramount importance as the primary producers of energy-rich compounds which form the basis of the food cycles of all aquatic animals. Many species of porphyra, laminaria and sargassum are among the 70 species of marine algae used as food. Certain marine brown and red algae produce large amounts of hydrocolloids, that is water holding substances, example algin, that is brown algae and carrageen, that is red algae, which are used commercially. Agar, one of the commercial products obtained from the gelidium and gracilaria are used to grow microbes and in preparations of ice creams and jellies. Chlorella, a unicellular alga rich in proteins, is used as food supplement even by space travelers. The algae are divided into three main classes, namely Chlorophyce, Pheophyce, and Rhodophyce. 3.1.1 Chlorophyce The members of Chlorophyce are commonly called as green algae. The plant body may be unicellular, colonial, or filamentous. They are usually grass green due to the dominance of the pigments chlorophyll A and B. The pigments are localized in definite chloroplasts. The chloroplasts may be discoid, plate-like, reticulate, cup-shaped, spiral, or ribbon-shaped in different species. Most of the members have one or more storage bodies called as pyrenoids located in the chloroplasts. Pyrenoids contain proteins besides starch. Some algae may store food in the form of oil droplets. Green algae usually have a rigid cell wall made up of inner layer of cellulose and an outer layer of pectose. Vegetative reproduction usually takes place by fragmentation or by formation of different types of spores. Asexual reproduction is by flagellated zoospores produced in zoosporangia. The sexual reproduction shows considerable variation in the type and formation of sex cells and it may be isogamous, anisogamous or oogamous. Some commonly found green algae are Chlamydomonas, Volvox, Olothrix, Spirogyra and Cara. 3.1.2 Pheophyce the members of Pheophyce or brown algae are found primarily in marine habitats. They show great variation in size and form. They range from simple branched filamentous forms like ectocarpus to profusely branched forms as represented by kelps, which may reach a height of 100 meters. They possess chlorophyll A, C, carotenoids and xanthophylls. They vary in color from olive green to various shades of brown depending upon the amount of xanthophyll pigment, fucoxanthin, present in them. 
food is stored as complex carbohydrates which may be in the form of laminarin or mannitol the vegetative cells have a cellulosic wall usually covered on outside by a gelatinous coating of allagene the protoplast contains in addition to plastids a centrally located vacuole and a nucleus the plant body is usually attached to the substratum by a hold fast and has a stalk the stipe and leaf like photosynthetic organ the frond vegetative reproduction takes place by fragmentation asexual reproduction in most brown algae is by biflagellate zoospores that are pear shaped and have two unequal laterally attached flagella sexual reproduction may be isogamous anisogamous or oogamous union of gametes may take place in water or within the oogonium that is oogamous species the gametes are pyriform that is pear shaped and pear two laterally attached flagella the common forms are ectocarpus dictyota laminaria sargassum and fucus 3.1.3 rhodophyci the members of the rhodophyci are commonly called as red algae because of the predominance of the red pigment r phycoerythrin in their body majority of the red algae are marine with the greater concentrations found in the warmer areas they occur in both well lighted regions close to the surface of water and also at the great depths in oceans where relatively little light penetrates the red thalli of most of the red algae are multicellular some of them have complex body organization the food is stored as floridian starch which is very similar to amylopectin and glycogen in structure the red algae usually reproduce vegetatively by fragmentation they produce asexually by non motile spores and sexually by non motile gametes sexual reproduction is oogamous and accompanied by complex post fertilization development the common members are polysiphonia porphyra glycerelia and gelidium table 3.1 shows the divisions of algae and their main characteristics first is chlorophyce its common name is green algae major pigments are chlorophyll a and b stored food is starch cell wall is made up of cellulose flagellar number and position of insertions is 2 to 8 equal and apical and habitat is fresh water brackish water and salt water second is pheophyce Its common name is brown algae. Major pigments are chlorophyll A, C, and fucoxanthin. Stored food is mannitol and laminarin. Cell wall is made up of cellulose and algin. Flagellar number and positions of insertion is two, unequal and lateral. Habitat is fresh water, rare, brackish water, and salt water. next is rhodophyce common name is red algae major pigments are chlorophyll a d phycoerythrin stored food is floridian starch cell wall is made up of cellulose pectin and polysulfate esters flagellar number and position of insertions is absent and the habitat is fresh water in some and brackish water and salt water in most 3.2 bryophytes bryophytes include the various mosses and liverworts that are found commonly growing in moist shaded areas in the hills bryophytes are also called as amphibians of the plant kingdom because these plants can live in soil but are dependent on water for sexual reproduction they usually occur in damp humid and shaded localities they play an important role in plant succession on bare rocks or soil 
the plant body of bryophytes is more differentiated than that of algae. It is thallus-like and prostrate or erect and attached to the substratum by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. They lack true roots, stem or leaves. They may possess root-like, leaf-like or stem-like structures. The main plant body of the bryophyte is haploid. It produces gametes, hence it is called as gametophyte. The sex organs in bryophytes are multicellular. The male sex organ is called as antheridium. They produce biflagellate antherozoids. The female sex organ called as archegonium is flask shaped and produces a single egg. The antherozoids are released into the water where they come in contact with archegonium. An antherozoid fuses with the egg to produce the zygote. Zygotes do not undergo reduction division immediately. They produce a multicellular body called a sporophyte. The sporophyte is not free living but attached to the photosynthetic gametophyte and derives the nourishment from it. Some cells of the sporophyte undergo reduction division that is meiosis to produce haploid spores. These spores germinate to produce the gametophyte. Bryophytes in general are of little economic importance but some mosses provide food for herbaceous mammals, birds and other animals. Species of sphagnum, a moss, provide peat that have long been used as a fuel and as packing material for transshipment of living material because of their capacity to hold water. Mosses, along with lichens, are the first organisms to colonize rocks and hence are of great ecological importance. They decompose rocks, making the substrate suitable for the growth of higher plants. Since mosses form dense mats on the soil, they reduce the impact of falling rain and prevent the soil erosion. The bryophytes are divided into liverworts and mosses. 3.2.1 Liverworts The liverworts grow usually in moist, shady habitats such as banks of streams, marshy ground, damp soil, bark of trees and deep in the woods. The plant body of liverwort is thalloid, example Markensia. The thallus is dorsiventral and closely appressed to the substrate. The leafy members have tiny leaf-like appendages in two rows on the stem-like structures. Asexual reproduction in liverworts takes place by fragmentation of thalli or by the formation of specialized structures called as gamma. Singular is gamma. Gamma are green, multicellular, asexual birds which develop in small receptacles called as gamma cups located on the thalli. The gamma become detached from the parent body and germinate to form new individuals. During sexual reproduction, male and female sex organs are produced either on the same or on different thalli. The sporophyte is differentiated into foot, seta and capsule. After meiosis, spores are produced within the capsule. These spores germinate to form free-living gametophytes.